Hello and welcome to MikeAdSite.com and this video is going to have a quick look at primitive solids as they're known. And this is just a series of commands that creates 3D objects in common shapes. For example, the first one we'll look at is a box. And it's pretty straightforward. It's just like drawing a rectangle except in 3D. And you're going to give uh, it a width, a height, and a length. So if you type in box and you can set your first corner just like a rectangle and then we'll go at say 4 comma 3 and then give it a height of 5 and then there's our box and you can see that it's going to be 4 units in the X, 3 in the Y and 5 in the Z. And that's your very common, very basic and you can uh, copy it over, do what you need to do, edit it just like uh, other objects. And we're just going to run through these quickly and then in the next video I'm going to show you different ways of editing and modifying and actually working with them. Next one we're going to look at is the sphere and that's similar to the box except it's a sphere, it's just a big giant ball and it works the same way you can just type in SPH for sphere and you can enter in a center point and then a radius or a diameter and if you're looking down at the uh, command line you'll see you've got options just like you're drawing a circle except it's in three dimensions now and there you have it and next one we'll look at is cylinder and it works uh, once again it's like drawing a circle except with height and you can also make these in the positive or negative z-axis so just type in CYL for cylinder and you can pick a center point make it elliptical quite a few options down here just like you're drawing a circle so I'll pick a center point and I'll enter in a radius of let's say 6 and give it a height of 3 and so you can see it's 12 across because my radius is 6 and 3 units high and the next one we'll look at is a cone and as you come down the list here you're going to see some that aren't really uh, as common or as useful in everyday drafting um, a cone I've probably never used except for checking out the command and teaching it but cone works the same way center point put in a radius of let's say 5 and then your height and once again it'd be negative or positive and that's your cone and just a couple more we'll look at the next one is the wedge and this one's a little tricky to get used to but once again start with a rectangular base and then it uh, gives you a wedge shape just like a doorstop, wedge of cheese, what have you and what you'll need to remember when you're drawing them is that it'll bring up the height from the first corner you picked so wherever you start that's going to be the taller end of your wedge and then it'll run along the y-axis so you can see we have the y-axis here so if I erase this and start again and go with the wedge command I'm going to pick it here and then once again along the y-axis and this is the first corner I picked so whether it's a long skinny one it'll always be using that same first corner I've picked and then go along the y-axis and next one we'll look at here is a torus and this gives you a nice donut shape not really a lot of uses for it but it is just another option you can have and with this one you have to give it two different uh, dimensions I'll just type in torus again 
pick a center point and then pick the radius for the main ring so I'll give it a radius of 5 and then you give it another radius and that's for the width of the tube so I can just give it a radius of say point three five and you can see now that it's quite thin and then you can still edit it using the different uh, handles on it as well so once again not something you're going to use a lot in everyday drafting but it's there for you and the last one we'll look at is the pyramid and now you've got a choice here of edge or sides so if I type in S for sides I'm going to be able to choose how many sides I want so it's set to four as a classic pyramid like you'd see out in Egypt or I can enter in say eight and then there's my eight sides and then I give it a height and another way of drawing it is if I draw a line first so I've got a line and type in pyramid PYR and if I type E for edge I can pick this and that point and there's the edge and so the two points I pick will be the length of one edge of the pyramid no matter how many sides you have so if I go and uh, try the command again go sides go back to four edge and pick my two points and you'll see I've got still got the same side just as I did previously so play around with them have fun um, in the tutorial I've got a building for an example that you can build out of primitive solids and later on you'll find uses for them but for now just learn the commands learn how they work and go from there this is uh, my CAD site thanks for watching